I guess the best perspective would be that it's a healthy expression of grief. Um, Ghost was actually written a couple of years ago, back during the complete vanity era, and um, there were uh, several uh, friends and personalities on social media who were um, taking a break for various reasons, and um, you know I think um, retaliation was expected, you know, and um, so, you know, I did my best to be careful with um, my own feelings, and um, when we got to that uh, particular stage, um, I was just uh, sitting around my guitars, I had my um, whole setup for the Complete Vanity thing already ready, and I was just sort of um, just strumming the guitar, uh, just during some downtime from um, sessions, and practicing for that and um that song came out the ghost it came out and uh i remember i thought it was kind of uh it was like a twisted sense of humor you know so i put it out immediately you know just sort of like you know i think um was, oh okay this is how he's going to ex uh, express himself you know uh, through a song and not like a belligerent you know drunk message or whatever so, and then, um, and Ghosted actually is one of the first songs where I sort of applied, like, um, more of a, you know, um, like a global sense of things. I remember, um, just reading the headline, you know, there was a, a lot of, uh, talk about that thing of, like, ghosting people and, um, it was it was big news at the time. There was articles, and of course, you know, it, it was probably um, the first sort of thing I saw, as, aside from like depression and anxiety, where um, it you know where the news, mainstream news, really targeted that particular audience. You know, um, it was you know before Stormy Area Fifty One and before this uh, other stuff that's going on, and like ghosting people was the thing, and. Um, you know, I, I took it as this um, idea to write a song about because, you know, obviously there was so many people that were doing that, that were like sort of like starting over. And um, it made sense to me because you would think like, OK, so, you know, most people, you know, they get education and they get like, you know, like a generic office job somewhere and, you know, they have their friends and they have their spots they go to for dinner and to hang out. And then um, if they get embarrassed or if like these, you know, uh, tragic things happen in their lives, they just sort of, um, you know, pick up, pick up and, <clears throat> you know, go to another town, you know, go to another town, go to another city, another state. And, you know, they, you know, they get the, you know, they get the same job somewhere else. You know, they, they just find new friends and new spots to go to dinner, new spots to hang out at. And I thought it was very intriguing because, you know, it's, um, you know, I thought I made a great song, you know, it's like just like that whole alternative doom, you know, uh, twisted stuff. And, uh, you know, you, it, it's, uh, I, you know, personally, yeah, it, it also registered me because, you know, it's like, I think a big part of life is humility, you know, um, and being a, like a rock musician you know, being in the public and have everybody know your business, you know, um, you, you know, you sort of grow up like that way, you know, uh, most uh, musicians were started at a young age, you know, I started playing rock and roll when I was a teenager. So every step I took as an adult, every life moment happened in the public, like everybody knew what was going on with Josh, you know, everybody knew whatever embarrassing thing I went through, whatever, um, big relationship deals I went through. It was all done with everybody around, with everybody knowing every detail. So I never had that, um, I wasn't, you know, like, I don't know, that was just part of life, you know, uh, growing up and like stuff like that. So I don't really, um, so yeah, you know, it was easy for me to, uh, I guess, rock that out as you can say, cause you know, it's easy. It was easy for me to sort of find that intriguing that there's so many people who just sort of grow up without that 
uh, and it's easy to sort of, you know, stand there with a guitar. Yeah, it's easy to do for me because, you know, of all that stuff, you know, um, you know, humility and, you know, growing up like that is part of life, it's part of being human, you know, um, it's definitely, you know, uh, the term ghost is definitely, um, you know, something as an artist, as a musician, definitely something to dwell on, stuff like that, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, I think um, before I wrote Ghosted, most of the songs I wrote before were just straight up rock songs. You know, we got songs like uh, One Eye Cowboy. We got songs like Glitch Cult, where it's just like straight up rock. There's no subjects, it's just like party rock and just rocking out and, you know, hitting the streets. And uh, so Ghosted has that significant turning point where we're sort of looking you know, um, at the more global subjects.